But first, they're coming to America. That's the focus of tonight's angle. He made his agenda clear back in 2019. No making migrants wait in Mexico any longer. The return of catch and release, open borders, and of course, more refugees. I'll reverse Trump's detrimental asylum policies. Raise our target for refugees to a level commensurate with our responsibility. I'd order a review of the temporary protective status to vulnerable populations who ripped apart by violence and disasters, including Venezuelans and Haitians. And now, almost five years later, because of Biden's pro-migrant fanaticism, both countries, Venezuela and Haiti, are using America as a dumping ground for their problems. Venezuelan gangs like the notorious Tren Aragua are flooding the border and committing horrific crimes here. And Maduro, of course, is happy they're someone else's problem now. And tonight, a warning of a new wave and new dangers posed to Americans because Venezuela just released 100 more hardened criminals. According to one prominent Miami immigration attorney, these are career criminals. These are prisons where there's thugs and killers. These are not prisons where they house the political opposition. Again, this is all on Biden. Venezuela would never try this stuff if Trump were president. And add to that the collapse of Haiti and the risk of a massive influx of unvetted Haitians into South Florida. The Biden team would love this, of course, because they want to turn Florida blue. And the only way they know how to do that, if not going to change any of their policies, is by canceling out native-born Americans with, as they call them, newcomers. Of course, Biden folks will pretend that he's going to turn back the Haitians who try to come by boat. I think you're right uh, that the, the driving conditions in Haiti could very well press more people. So uh, we've recently approved some uh, additional assistance that we can provide to uh, the Coast Guard. I, I, I think that that has now fully been approved. Uh, we'll be providing notifications if we haven't already uh, uh, to so, okay, provide let, additional let shipboard there. assistance. What does that mean? We assist the migrants on our boats? Yeah, well, okay, wait. We assist the migrants in the Rio Grande as well. They're all brought to shore. Although it is true that the maritime rules make it easier to turn people away, I wouldn't put anything past the Biden people when it comes to bringing people into this country. And when you think of the fabulous job that Antony Blinken has done in Ukraine, just imagine how he'll help Haiti restore democracy. We need to see a transition uh, to a to elections, to a clear return to a democratic path. We now have $200 billion coming from DOD, another $100 million coming from the rest of the United States government in support of the multinational security uh, support mission. None of that money will be wasted. None of it, I'm sure. Doesn't Tony Blinken always look like he just lost his best friend, by the way? Now, these people couldn't evacuate from Afghanistan, but they're going to restore democracy in Haiti? money down a rat hole that we'll have to borrow or print again. Now, a real leader like Florida Governor Ron DeSantis protects his people first and certainly doesn't waste their hard-earned money. He's put his border agents on high alert for refugees who try to reach Florida. That is good news. But look, it's no coincidence that we're seeing chaos break out all across the globe when we have a weak, debilitated president at home. Why would Americans support throwing billions to other countries when they see this government sabotage our own country? It makes no sense. It's not that we don't have sympathy for Haiti. Of course we do. But their problems are decades old, and our meddling has usually made things worse. We rich countries that produce a lot of food should sell it to poor countries and relieve them of the burden of producing <coughs> their own food. It's maybe been good for some of my farmers in Arkansas, but it has not worked. I did that. I had to live every day with the consequences of the lost capacity to produce a rice crop in Haiti to feed those people because of what I did. Later, we forced an unpopular president on Haiti. And what did that get us? Well, what we're seeing in the streets there tonight. And of course, a humanitarian catastrophe unfolding that the American people are going to be asked to pay for. The fact is, for a variety of reasons, Haiti can't seem to get its act together. 
The people there suffer terribly, and so America repeatedly tries to bail it out. It's an endless cycle that frustrated then-President Trump, who in 2018 reportedly referred to it as a s-hole country. Remember that? Of course, that created a huge media firestorm at the time, because liberals who don't hesitate for one second to mock traditional Americans, Christians, people of faith, will always jump to defend the third world. Many people have long held this belief that it's just chaos in Haiti. Absolutely untrue. You don't seem thrilled by this ad, no? made this hat for you. Yeah. Haiti is great already. Is it, Conan, really? Maybe we should ask barbecue. And that's the angle. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.